my charms hi welcome back to lily katuli channel if you're new here feel at home i create content on beauty motherhood and motivation so if this is your kind of content please hit that subscribe button follow the notification bell so that every time i upload new content you get notified it's a new year 2022 we all have uh, things listed down on the things that you want to achieve the things you want to do the people we want to be and um it's very easy for us to be so stuck up on those lists or the things that you want to do that we forget that there are things that are of importance in this life and um, i have a list of things that i feel like uh, even if you don't achieve even if you achieve what you need to do even if you didn't make resolutions even if you have no idea what you want to do some of these things some of these things um it's like it's like rules of life and uh these are according to me and i feel like they're going to be helpful to someone else so without further ado let's begin <laughs> live in the moment live in the present it is so easy for us to get stuck up with um, achieving the things that we have on our list um just living every day's life trying to be better and trying to achieve the things that we did that we forget to enjoy those moments we are in and that's why even at the end of a period someone would be like hey i don't think i really did anything positive or i don't think i felt any positivity in my life because you are so stuck up in chasing 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 rather than just relax chill and enjoy that moment are you watching a movie be in that moment are you with your family and friends be in that moment are you sleeping sleep peacefully let's try and um, separate um moments when you are so desperate when we are sick when we are feeling a lot of negativity um this moment can lead us to carry forth to our places of work at home uh, to friends so let's try as much as possible to live in the moment to enjoy each moment as it comes nothing lasts forever they say nothing lasts forever and i believe nothing lasts forever i think forever like five years is a long time and you might feel like it's forever but still it's not forever so nothing lasts forever if you're struggling to do something it's okay just pole pole too and you will find yourself um, getting better and things getting easier so just like that and you will find yourself when you start living in the moment life will be a little bit simpler and a little bit fun uh point number two god answers prayers and he is a god of second chances so I believe that no matter what you do no matter how many times you fail as long as you really are determined to get what you want to get you are determined to go after your goals you are determined to chase after your dreams it doesn't matter who doesn't believe in you it doesn't matter if you're left alone with the dream it doesn't matter how many times you fail you will always get up Yes, I'm not saying that you will not feel bad, you will not fail, you will not cry, you will not lose hope. Of course you will. But because there's something inside of you that is in the, um, is embedded and growing inside of you, you will always try to rise up. And that's what God does. Like that's what God does. You you feel worthless, you will never he will never ever think that you're worthless. As long as you go before him and ask for forgiveness, he will always give you a second chance. to live life to chase after your dreams to be better so always know that god is a god of second chances point number 3 do not be desperate and in desperation do not make hasty decisions oh i have done this so many times i'm telling you like you see you have 10000 and you had a list of important things that you were supposed to do but all that when it comes to hastiness ah that's the time now you start th- th- thinking about eh hey, nimi miss kwenda dinner nimi miss i don't even have a shoe i don't even have this dress or oh, i remember this gm dress i saw mm-mm, mm-mm. never ever make desperate decisions never also make hasty decisions eg when you have that money take your time sit down even forget you have that money 
and then now you can sit down and start listing all the things that you needed to have done and then you will realize all these things that are coming to your head very fast they are among the list of things that you need to do also desperation desperation leads you to be clouded like you can't think straight for example um i'm trying to come up with an example if all right so there's this uh let's say i'm a, I'm a makeup artist of course and then there's someone who has promised me a job of 100k and then in their 100k uh maybe i'm being told uh, i need to pay 5000 for me to get that 100k you really need to do your mathematics you really need to sit down and see who is this person you're working with do you know them do you know the company they are working with uh, are they legit like you really have to chill down no it does not matter the amount of debt you're in it does not matter you slept hungry yesterday it does not matter you've not worked or gotten a client for a whole month desperation always leads to something bad so you need to sit down and bring your head and your thoughts together your mind your spirit your body everything in one and think straight of the decisions you're supposed to make for you to be able to get that chance because i've realized every time we're desperate we always end up losing something and we become more desperate more angry more if we fail more so never be desperate for any situation no matter what tough times you're going through and again never make hasty decisions my fourth point people will always have something to say people will always have opinions i'm telling you you dress well someone will see something in your dress and they will be like ai usa unakaa suji so and so i'm sorry to say but mokorino uh you dress skimply someone will say basta mbona umevaa hivyo you be happy someone will always find something to do to spoil your happiness you be sad so always someone will always have an opinion about anything and everything so this means do things that you feel comfortable doing it's not hurting anyone it's not illegal you're not sinning against god and you're happy to do it and comfortable then do it otherwise if you base your opinions on people you will suffer a lot you will suffer because i've realized you can never please people they say unless you're selling ice cream you cannot please everyone so do you girl do you boy do you do you do you because people will always have opinions be yourself that is almost related to do you so be yourself it saves a lot of energy it saves a lot of energy never pretend to fit in you are not meant to fit in you are meant to stand out if you feel yourself that you're weird be weird be bold in your weirdness if you feel that your fashion is so bold please be bold in your fashion sense be bold because we're not meant to fit in no one was meant to fit in imagine if all of us had the same personalities and characteristics it would be so boring so that's why you're supposed to be you you shine you make someone smile somewhere you shine someone's light somewhere someone looks at you and they admire you somewhere someone listens to you and they feel oh my god i just want to be like you so be bold be confident be yourself you don't even have to pretend because when you're in a crowd or when you're somewhere just being yourself you don't even have to think oh my god am i lying did i say this to someone else no it's just you all through and it saves energy it saves time it makes you authentic it makes you real so be yourself number 6 get to know and understand yourself better keep working on yourself to become even better so get to understand yourself first no lily doesn't like liars lily hates people who feel they are above everyone else and then be better be better like work on yourself okay for example i know like i can be impatient so i already know i should avoid impatient situations or when it comes to impatient situations i need to be more patient and then i start working on my level of patience like i try to improve my level of patience that makes me a better person if i do that for 2 years 3 years 10 years 30 years i'm definitely going to be a better a way better person than the person that i i was before so get to understand yourself know what you like know what you don't like know what ticks you off know what makes you shine know what makes you smile know the environment that makes you thrive 
be around people that makes you feel positive be around people that makes you want to be better just know and understand the things how you feel get to know even your body and dress your body so well get to understand your weaknesses so that you can make them your strengths get to understand your strengths so that you even become even an expert in those fields and then become work on them work on everything and become a better human always always thrive to be a better human better than you are before um my last point write down all you want to achieve write down all you want to achieve and then give it your all like give it your all go at it never rest never tire never give up be bold be confident and then have gratitude for the little that you have say thank you lord for giving me this day thank you lord for enabling me even to have the skill thank you lord even for giving me one client even if i wanted 10 clients thank you lord for giving me just that one compliment someone told me i look nice in the morning even just the little things that we think maybe they are just normal kawaida to have even just going to work and coming back people are dying on the roads they are coming in the morning going to work and they don't come back home so even for the tiniest of things have gratitude and then believe that you can do it and then watch your life transform so it all starts with like what do i want i want lika house to be international company all right so do i want that yes and then do i work towards that every day of my life i wake up early i market myself i create videos i work on people with the better skills i i i get to learn more skills on youtube on other educational platforms and then i have gratitude for example maybe this week i wanted to have four clients every day and then i get one every day i should be grateful that the fact that there are some people who didn't even have there are some people who don't even have the, any idea of what they are going to do but i have the idea i have the skill and then god gave me one person even if i wanted for i should be grateful for that and then i should believe that as myself all my skills that i have all the talent all the passions all the things that i do every day that they are i'm capable of making my brand an international brand and then watch my life transform it may not happen overnight it may not happen in 2 years it may not even happen in 5 years but if you believe that the dream that you hold is substantial it was meant for you and it is going to happen then most definitely one day one time it is going to happen so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you're going to believe in yourself more i pray that you're going to have confidence i pray that you're going to be yourself because you're by yourself by yourself you are smart you are authentic you are real and you are worth it and then just watch your life transform this 2022 i pray that all your dreams and all your desires come true and i look forward to seeing you in my next video until next time bye guys